Is this a sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare? Using both classical art and Baroque architecture as inspiration, Chris Cooksey intricately assembles these multi-layered sculptures that challenge the viewer to seek out a new meaning to the madness before them. The closer you get, the more you see the juxtaposition between beauty and violence within the pieces themselves. I seem to teeter on polarities and things, and so it's all about a storytelling or a narrative that isn't too suggestive, but uh, touches on all these kind of bits of human psychology. I like to think, uh, I like to explore human uh, emotional baggage. Missouri-born Cooksey spends days, weeks, and even months on his creations. His work is inspired by and infused by things like Star Wars and other fantastical stories. With sizes ranging from a few inches to meters, one would think he learned from master craftsmen, but... A lot of this I just learned on my own, um, but I think the painting background really helped me to compose well and as well as finish these pieces, because these are all very disjointed pieces and the natural color that they come in is very different from everything else. And so to sort of shut off all the color and bring it to you know, a monotone, unified effect uh, is really you know, quite a challenge. Most of his sculptures blossom from a larger central piece, the challenge for him is to painstakingly source, arrange, and secure each piece by hand. Still, he has something even bigger he wants to be remembered by. I have this fantasy of building a small castle that I live in, but also becomes my permanent museum collection after I'm gone. So it's that idea that I want this location made and designed decorated by myself, but lives on after I'm gone. So a lot of the great artists, you know, have done this sort of thing. Um, and that's all about just making a marker. Like, what do I leave for humanity? How am I remembered? With his amalgamations managing to intrigue and disturb people at the same time, Cooksey is hoping his work is seen by as wide an audience as possible whether they see it in person or within the pages of his book. While his hallucinatory style of art is aimed at firing up a viewer's imagination, one can only wonder what his own dreams are made of. A lot of times they're very, very vivid, like just snapshots, like very uh, detailed, surreal worlds that, you know, I feel as though, well, where in the world does that come from? It's like I don't even have the idea or subconscious interaction in you know, forming the dream. It's just sort of a broadcast image sent to me. So it's, it's very surreal. Um, and it makes you wonder, you know, what is divine inspiration? Where does it come from? Is it solely our own imagination or are ideas broadcast to us?